Hi, my cute, 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 cute cuties. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be doing a question and answer segment. I put a post on my community wall a couple of days ago and I said, list questions that you would like answered here. So I have a few questions and I'm going to answer them now. Let's get straight into the video. One of the questions is, what's my favorite color? And I think you guys know that because I answered that question before when we was playing a game. So my favorite color is pink. Yes, pink is my favorite color. Another question was, did I just wake up one day and decide that I want to do nails? No, let me tell you. So the pandemic had just started, right? And they have this lady that do nails. She's bomb and she lived minutes, like literally three minutes from my house. She had posted availability and I was happy to be off that day. So I was like, I booked the appointment, did what I had to do to book the appointment. And while she was doing my nails, I was pretty amazed because I'd always been to nail salons and you know, that's Vietnamese and, you know, different, you know, those kind of people that be doing nails, you know, you don't really, you didn't used to see African Americans doing nails coming up, not us anyways, in Louisiana. So, um, but you see a lot of that nowadays, but you know, so I was pretty amazed. And while she was doing my nails, I didn't have not one concern of doing nails. So I didn't, I didn't take nothing in besides the fact that I was pretty amazed that a sister was doing my nails. All right. So then the next month and I had got like medium length and the next month I went in, I had got short and I just wasn't feeling them. Like I was looking at them that day and I was like, Man, you know, for the amount of money that I paid, I'm like, I feel like I could have did that because I'm a little cheapy. And um, I just feel like I could have did it because it was like $53, I think. And I was just looking at them like, they was playing. I'm like, I could have did that. I guess I I wanted to save them $53. And that what it stimulated from. Not that, not put my sister down. I'm not doing that. What I'm saying was, because I paid $53, my little chief self was looking at my nails like I could have did it myself. So once I told myself that, I started like really telling myself that like all that day. So I'm like, let me look and see what I need on Amazon. So when I went on Amazon, I was searching nail products. And I was like, I don't know the first thing to do. I don't know the first thing to get. So then I went to YouTube when I had to, uh, to do nails for a beginner or something like that. And all the stuff that I needed, I went back to uh, Amazon. And after I was putting all that in my car, I was like, huh, I better pay them $53 and rest my nerves. So then the next day, I was looking at my nails again. I'm like, but if I spend all that money getting the products and I start doing my own nails, then I'll pay $50 plus dollars getting all the products. But then I'll eventually save because I'll be doing my own nails. So that is how I got started. Only to do my own nails. Okay, order the products and boom, they came in. By this time, the nails wasn't seven days old and, you know, Amazon Prime, I had my stuff. I was so anxious. I soaked the nails off and I did my nails for the first time. Yes, I did my nails for the first time. Which brings us to the next question. How did I learn? I taught myself. Don't get me wrong. It took me seven hours to do that set of nails. I'm going to look for a picture. If I still have it, you'll, you'll be seeing it right now. I'm not sure if I can find it. But it took me all day to do it, but I did it. But to overall learn how to do it, I can honestly say I'm still learning. The technique is the same as far as applying an application, but the trends is constantly changing and I don't know how to do all the nail arts that you see but I hope to one day do know how to do it so I am still learning but to get the basics I was able to do it right away but then when I started doing other people's nails that became challenging so originally I was self-taught to answer that question which brings me to the next question how long does it take to be a nail tech I will tell you check with your state the requirements vary from state to state. I'm in Louisiana. The requirements are 600 hours. So the minimum to achieve the 600 hours for the hours that the class attend on a daily basis is six months. So 
So I went in and I applied for the school. And when they told me that, I'm like, hmm, I went every day. From 8.30 or 9 o'clock till 4 or 4.30. Six months, I was done with the class. Next, I had to register um, with the State Board of Cosmetology. And so in my state, it was 600 hours and pass a written and practical test. The practical was on a mannequin hand and it gave you specific detailed instructions on what you had to complete. And then the written exam was all the, the sanitation and all the fun stuff. Like all, all the sanitation and all the, you know, the book work, like, you know, I can't even think of that word, but that, that. Feel me? The next question is, what made me change my career? Well, let's brief on that. I am a certified pharmacy technician. Still am and will always be. I will continue to do all the requirements, which is uh, yearly requirements, paying my fee to renew my certification. Like, I do all that every year. It's, this is my third year. I have not, I'm going on my third year. I've been out of the pharmacy. Like, what, three years? Yes, yeah, three years. But anyways, during the pandemic, right around the time I, I, I had an interest in nails, we were, the doors was locked at the pharmacy and we was, the, when, when a customer, when a, um, a customer come to pick up their medication, they would call us in the parking lot and say they're here to pick up their medication. So we would look and see what it was. And depending on the total, we'll say, okay, your total is $3.50. How would you like to pay? Then they would say cash. And I said, okay, would you have a five or ten? Would you have? They would say they got a 20. So at that time, we took the chain and we go out to the to the car. So it was a lot of delivering. And I was just, I was over it. It was like a whole year of that. And I was like over it. But, you know, we're trying to keep the the building and staff safe. I understand it. And I, I, I rather it like that. But it got tiresome. So then when I thought about it, I was like, I'm at home, kind of comfortable. I ain't got to be ripping and running out. My legs was weak like noodles. I'm like, I'm kind of over this. Although I enjoy being a tech, that's what made me change careers. That was, that was the help. So I was like, if I would, I, I charge $15. I was charging fifteen dollars for everything, so I'm like, if I charge fifteen dollars, I would have to do this many people. Uh, uh, I would have to do this many people a day. This many people a week to get a check. I'm like, that ain't gonna happen. Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep. So I'm like, you know what? I don't have to do nothing. So I'm like, if I just do some nails a day and earn some monies, I'm gonna be okay. And that's what I did. And let me just say, yeah, I am Mr. Paycheck for the pharmacy. Next question. What tips would you give someone who wants to be a nail tech? Learn what works for you. And when I say that, it goes a long ways. The holding of the brush. You might watch me. You might watch your favorite other nail tech. Well, I better be your favorite nail tech. But you might watch somebody else. Let's get this straight. Mm-hmm. But they may hold their hand a certain way. And you might be trying to hold your... No, baby. Get comfortable. Get comfortable within yourself. I was watching people that was like, the 3B method, the 2B method. And when I was struggling with a nail and I needed six Bs, I was beating myself up because I'm using three more extra Bs and I should have this accomplished. Because this nail is this length, I should have this done in, in three Bs. And then one day I stumbled upon a video and I can't remember who it was, but I, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I stumbled upon this video and the lady said, it doesn't matter how many beads it takes to get the nail to your desired look. Do what works for you. I was like, thank you. I thought, I thought you had to. I, I'm serious. I thought you had to do a certain bead method. No, ma'am. No, sir. Do what works for you. All around, do what works for you. Take what I'm saying, take what others say, and have that information and use it to your advantage. Tweak it if you must, and you probably will, because that's just the way it goes. What I've seen other people do, I just couldn't do it. But tweaking it my way, it works for me. Problems. The best advice I can give you when dealing with problems, if you're doing 
I know right now y'all probably working on yourself. You want to do nails just to probably practice for yourself and then gradually um, get to doing other people's nails. But handle problems individually. I made that mistake of stressing myself out to the gods. But once I started handling individual problems on an individual basis, things got better for me. What do I mean when I say that? Well, if somebody told me they had lifting. I had a huge lifting problem when I first started doing nails. Maybe it was my products, which that's another question. Maybe it was my products or maybe it was my application or maybe it was a combination of both. Once I got to where 95% didn't have a problem and one person kept having an issue. I had one client that told me her nail, she woke up and her nail was on the pillow. I said, what happened? I don't know. I just woke up and it just, it just fell off. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's not possible. Feel me? So I was like torturing myself. What am I doing wrong? How can I nail just fall off? And then like, mind you, I'm using the same products they, they are using. I'm wearing the same nails with different design and style, of course, but it's not happening to me. So it, it makes it impossible to believe. I'm serious. I wanted to snip this in the butt. So I switched my products, which became a little bit more, more than what I was. The, the products I was using was a little bit, was a lot more cheaper. But it wasn't giving me the results that I desired. So I had to invest a little bit more money. And I'm satisfied and it's been, it's been good. So individually, if somebody come, I had a client come to me recently. And it's been a long time, but she had about five nails. Three on one hand, two on another hand, whatever, lifted. She don't know how it happened. Either do I. I am not no longer beating myself up like what did I do wrong? Because I know I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I know I cannot control and I will never know what everybody's doing on an individual basis when they leave me. That's it. That's all. Handle problems individually. Don't beat yourself up. Because I want to I want to just I'm be done. All with nails all together. Okay, the next question is do I find it easier being a nail tech? Versus a pharmacy tech. Nee, 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 nee. Why? Because working with the public is a challenge in itself. And I was working with the public as a pharmacy tech. And I work with the public as a nail tech. So when you're working with the public, you know it can be challenging. Because you have individual needs that needs to be met. I work really well when we got time. Don't bring me no nail picture. That look like blah 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 blah, and be like, how long is it gonna take? Thirty minutes? Mm, no, D don't do that. In fact, don't have a nail look that's so detailed. Don't even ask me how long it's gonna take. Don't even give me the implement. Wait, I'm off subject, right? Let me back it up. That's not that question wasn't even asked. Hold up, Sh hold up. Yeah, the question was. Ooh, child, y'all about to bring me down. Do you find it easier, easier than being a pharmacy tech? No. Because like I said, dealing with individual, trying to make sure they nail straight. I didn't had a couple of people that... Yeah. They make me want to bite my nails off. My favorite part about being a nail tech, I run this ish. Meaning having to work long days. Standing on my feet 10 plus hours a day. I do my own schedule. That's my favorite part. Another question is, can I recommend specific products? Since you asked me that question, I'm going to recommend what I use. Somebody else might come behind me and have a different opinion. I honestly think this question is on an individual basis. Because what works for one may not work for the other. Because a product that I started off using, I thought worked good until I was having issues. And like I said, it could have been a combination of my prep and the product. But I don't know. Because switching to the products I use now that I've been using about two years is working fine. I use Young Nails 
Protein by Young Nils, uh, Polymore, Young Nils, Monimore. So, I use Young Nils all around for me. Glue, I love KBS glue. There are cheaper products that probably work just as good. I just can't recommend those because I have not used them. The product I was using when I first started, um, like I said, it didn't work for me. I really liked it, but I was having issues with lifting. And I, you just don't want that. When somebody's sitting in front of me with nails lifting nowadays, I don't know what you're doing. It didn't just happen. It didn't. It didn't. Do I have any suggestions for nail nail care? I, no. I'm a licensed nail tech and I don't. I went to school. They taught us the sanitation, the basics. And I did what I had to do to meet the requirements. I really want to learn how to do nails. How to do acrylics. I ain't gonna lie to you. They didn't give me no kind of recommendations about that and I didn't ask. So I am not the nail tech that know the back ends about that. Which brings me to another um, piece of advice I want to give. Do not be afraid to say, I don't know. I am not the one that just going to give you an answer because you ask. I don't, I, I don't know, I'm being honest. Like when they give me a bitch, you can't do this. I never did it before. I will be willing to try it. It look like it's something that I can do. Or I say, I can do something similar. Or I say, baby, I would love to be able to do that. But at this time, I don't know how to do it. I'm honest. To do's and don't do's for beginners. Do prep your natural nail. That is key. Prepping your nails can determine longevity of your acrylics. If you do not prep and you throw acrylics on, you might have lifting that same day so prep your nails what i say by prep is remove your natural shine clean up any cuticle that's on your nail plate before applying acrylics that is key prep do that prep the next main thing i'll tell you is make sure you have a good protein bind i recommend young nails protein bind it's protein bind I started off using another protein bind. Just the protein bind could have been my problem and not the acrylic powder and liquid I was using. It could have just been the primer. But I switch everything. And another bit of advice. Products does work best when they are all the same. Meaning, if I'm using Young Nails Protein Bind, it works better when you have Young Nails Polymore, the acrylic powder, and then Young Nails, mine more. I have, so that is do's. Don't, don't, after you prep, allow, if you're doing a client or yourself, don't be scratching out, don't be doing all like this because the oil is from your skin, it defeats the purpose. And I have to constantly, that's another thing. Uh, clients can be working against you. You can be prepping one hand and they're doing this with the other hand that you just prep. You get all your back on. I am trying to prevent lifting when you are working against me. You know? So don't do all your prep work and then go scratch your hair or do something and mess up what you did. Don't do that. Don't be so hard on yourself. If it take you longer to achieve your desired nail structure. Meaning, you want to go in, take your brush, dip it in, and lay it be, and then whoop it do That would be ideal. I, I, I hope I can do that one day. With one dip and apply it. But it don't happen. To the best of us. If you got to keep going in for a little bit more acrylic, look at it and... Get it to your desire. Look however long it take you to do it as a beginner. As a beginner, that damaged me because I wanted to achieve that immediately. It didn't happen like that. So I made it harder for myself at the beginning. I did. The best advice I can give you 
is work at your own pace. Don't let nobody rush you. I tell my clients, schedule your appointment time as your personal time. I hope I was able to answer all the questions that was asked. If you have any future questions, leave them in the comment section below and it'll be in my next questions and answer segment. If you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure your notifications is turned on and like this video. And if you feel it in your heart, share me out. That's all I have for you guys today. See you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.